then you'll understand. And it's things like that. I'll warn y'all up front. I don't think like everybody else. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Anybody just sick of this war on drugs? Anybody? Are we tired of this yet? It don't matter if you do drugs or not. It's the money and the time and the resources and the lives. It's over. Give it up. It's over. It's been over. It's been over. Speaking of been over, why the hell is prostitution illegal? <laughs> Somebody want to tell me that? How is prostitution illegal and Viagra is perfectly legal? What? Excuse me, didn't you just give somebody money so that you could have sex? Thought so. <laughs> I thought I recognized that little transaction there. And if you know, if it ain't hit you yet, especially you young guys, if it ain't hit you, it soon will. All right, you'll see that the reason it's legal is because old people make the rules, man. Old people make the rules. If it ain't hit you, it will. You'll be lying in bed with your girl watching Deadwood, and the TV ain't on. Uh... TV ain't on. Same amount of profanity being strong about the rules. <laughs> I'm sick of neckties. Why are we holding on to neckties? It's ridiculous. It's a... I associate neckties with pure evil. Last time I had one on, I messed around and got married. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Damn the luck. Sexism is a monster. Sexism is a monster. Throughout time, since the beginning of man, women have been treated like objects, property to be bought and sold. In some cases, even like farm animals and livestock. Now, I don't go to those websites anymore. <laughs> uh, I respect women. Miracles, right? Now, granted, not capable of giving life. Okay. But capable of sustaining life and nurturing life in its most fragile and gentle, delicate state, whether it be a newborn baby or a 32 year old stuck in a bad marriage. Uh, if you nibble on the nipple, it'll be all right. It's kind of late. We got to get to the crowd here. Can I tell you a little bit about me?
We didn't get not one Ford Focus out of that deal. <laughs> not one Focus. There's more people locked up in America than in any other country on the planet, including communist China. Unless, of course, you include the free citizens of communist China. Let's be honest. <laughs> Our inmates have it better than three quarters of their population. Shoot, this is bullshit statistic is all I'm saying. I mean, I'd rather have three hots in a cot in a maximum security prison in upstate Iowa than a mud hut on a riverbank 30 clicks north of Beijing any day. <laughs> any day. Yeah.